ever since 2012 when Treyarch released the first futuristic Call of Duty in the form of Black Ops 2, people have been comparing the various editions and features of Call of Duty games that followed with Halo. Now, this is understandable as Halo has been and still is the go-to futuristic shooter, set in a distant future with aliens, laser weapons and metal clad super soldiers, but I always shrug these comparisons off as people just jumping on the annual does anyone else hate COD bandwagon. Until now, this Infinite Warfare trailer is the straw that broke the camel's back. So I present to you all the similarities between Halo and Call of Duty in the Infinite Warfare reveal trailer. So, I'm going to begin with the story. Now, I know because it was only a reveal trailer, we only got a slight whiff of what the story for the entire game is going to be, but from what we got, I've made quite a few valued judgments on the similarities between the story of Infinite Warfare and Halo. So, an attack on Geneva takes place by Colonial Rebels, also known as the Settlement Defense Force, or SDF, uh, and Geneva is the location of the UN headquarters. This massively mirrors the Jovian Moons campaign, from Halo, where secessionists attacked incredibly important UN colonial advisors where they thought they were safe on the moon Io. We then see a city or multiple cities on Earth being attacked which, guess what, mirrors yet another thing from Halo, the Rainforest Wars, where guerrilla attacks by rebels took place on Earth on both military and non-military targets. Something else that we can see in this reveal trailer, we can see civilians being attacked and we can see military personnel being attacked. And lastly for the story, war is declared on the Settlement Defense Force, which is like I've said already, the rebels, which leads to governmental militaries fighting off-planet and galactic wars which is pretty much identical to the interplanetary war and to some degree the Battle of Delambre from Halo. For those who are unaware, the Battle of Delambre was a small scale yet very major war that occurred on the moon. The interplanetary war was a culmination of many battles over a 10 year time span on various planets such as Mars and the moon and led to a treaty known as the Callisto Treaty which ended the conflict. Next up we have characters. Now, when I first saw this character in particular when I first watched the trailer, I literally laughed out loud at how ridiculously similar she is to Miranda Keys. From the navy dress and the details on it, to even her damn face, she looks like a doppelganger in the Call of Duty universe. Now, I know that navy dress is navy dress and is always going to be sort of similar, but come on. The game is set in the future, you can literally make up a new style of navy clothing and make up a reason why it changed without being questioned in the slightest. You wanna know why? Because it's the future, things change. The fact that it's almost identical is fishy to say the least. Shortly after this trailer was released, a bunch of promotional character images were also released and this one immediately caught my eye. The resemblance to Captain Jacob Keys from Combat Evolved is absolutely uncanny and cannot go unnoticed. From his navy dress again, to his facial structure and even his hair, it's too damn similar. On to vehicles, first off we have this jet that looks kind of like an F-35 fighter jet, a broadsword and the Halo Combat Evolved Bumblebee pod had a kid. It's not the starkest of similarities, at least now, but it still can't go ignored, until it goes to space and opens its wings. It looks literally identical to a broadsword. On its way up to space, it flies alongside what we can assume are allied frigates, which, surprisingly, don't actually share that many similarities aesthetically with Halo's various frigate designs. At least, until you read the name. The UNSA Retribution. Now, call me picky, but the UNSA? Seriously? The United Nations Space Alliance is so close to being the United Nations Space Command, Halo's UNSC, it's uncanny. But when we eventually create a Space Navy in real life, I guess it's going to be called the UNS something, right? A little further into the trailer, and we have this smaller ship, which looks absolutely identical to a Pelican. I mean, did Infinity Ward pay 343 for the assets to use or something? This is on a whole new level of similarity, and I'm sure somewhere in some country this breaks a copyright law. Lastly, we see what looks like a transport or freight ship. Coincidentally, it happens to be on a planet that heavily resembles Meridian, and coincidentally again, it just happens to look like the Brahmin light hauler that we see on Meridian flying through the sky in Halo 5. 
And finally is the environments. Now, I'm not going to pick at the bit and say that every part of this trailer copies Halo, because it doesn't. It simply doesn't. Geneva looks like Geneva in a few years time. The spire in the centre here does kind of look like a space elevator, but there's nothing really that Halo inspired in the Geneva environment by the looks of it. However, this environment screams Meridian. It's a dusty, bland mining colony with large jagged cliffs and a murky brown sky. It seems to be littered with human industrial structures and mining implements. Whilst having vehicles incredibly similar to the Brahmin light hauler from Meridian flying through the sky. It also has a little bit of reach thrown in there too, but the resemblance to Meridian is hilarious. And finally, we have the interior of what looks to be an allied UNSA ship. I wasn't aware that the UNSA Forward Unto Dawn was a thing. The interior looks like a cross between the Argent Moon and the Dawn. Everything from the railings to the interior design just looks so damn similar. But maybe that's me just getting way too picky. Now, don't take this video as a sign that I already hate Infinite Warfare's very existence. I'm actually quite excited for it. I'll play through the campaign and imagine that it's Halo the Interplanetary War that I'm playing and probably make a video or two on it titled exactly that because it won't be clickbait. It's just that some things need to be called out and the ridiculous amount of similarity between Halo and Infinite Warfare in this trailer alone is just insane. But hey, maybe that'll make my playthrough of it even more convincing that I'm playing through a 20 second century Halo game.